gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, your boy Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're taking a look at a ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Uh, fifth generation, we're going to upgrade this thing to Windows 7. I'm going to benchmark and see how it does. Man, I got to say, I am pleased. Autofocus, autofocus. I am pleased with the speed that uh, the USB 3.0 is transferring this stuff over. Five minutes to do a backup? That is awesome. I'm pretty sure the CPU isn't as good, but uh, let's get this thing done. We'll see how it goes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to get my benchmark on. All right, so I've never seen it do this before. What does that say up there? This phone does not do good at zoom-ins. Not bad, though. This thing's going pretty fast, even though they're only taking up like a very small percentage of the screen, I suppose. Of course, we had Direct X10 operating about uh, 7.5 frames per second on the Intel HD Graphics 520. Not bad, not great. Going into the trees, when zooming in, we get to about 5 frames per second. Now, of course, we got the DirectX 11, not bad, 22, 20 to 22 frames per second. Come on, there you go. Eighteen frames per second about now. All right, and DirectX 12. If we, oh, we made it. Between 7 and 10 frames per second. Bit choppy, but super light. Very nice, very nice. Not as good as, not as good as I would have liked it, but... Oh, missed it. Hard to zoom in. All right, folks, that's not a bad score. Two thousand three hundred and ninety-seven point five. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, high CPU, two D, three D memory disk. That was about where I was thinking it would be. Carbon X1 fifth generation. God. I really should do screen captures, but I don't want to because that will hamper the uh, benchmark. 2,397. Not bad at all, folks. Anyways, that's it for me. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it, folks, and uh, have a good one.